Dave Mosher here, producer for space.discovery.com, the Discovery Channel's website all about space. And this is the 82nd Carnival of Space. Now, you might be wondering, what the heck is a carnival of space? Fraser Kane started it in April of 2007. Each week, the best of the space blogs post their best posts, so it's a whole lot of awesome. This is the first ever videofied space carnival, so I hope you enjoy. Let's jump right into it. To start things off, Nancy Atkinson at Universe Today debunks the wooden plank on Mars. Pun master Phil Plate also chops up the Martian wood in a bad astronomy blog post. Ethan Siegel at Starts with a Bang wonders, what's the biggest star in the universe? Stuart Atkinson of Cumbrian Sky gives us a four-part tour of NASA JPL. Mike Simonson of Simo Astronomy describes the evolution of amateur astronomy in a TM diagram. And speaking of amateur astronomy, Astroblog's Ian Musgrave covers the Venus, Jupiter, and Moon conjunction. Todd Flowerday of Catholic Sensibility also blogs about the frowny face planetary conjunction. Alan Dyer, What's Up Astronomy, digs up news of the Canadian fireball chunks discovered in Saskatchewan. Cosmic Ray Villard wonders if planets around red dwarfs are habitable. Supernova condensate's Marcus Hammonds also asks if life could evolve around red dwarf stars. And Paul Gilster of Centauri Dreams wonders if the Earth could survive the sun turning into a red giant. Adam McCrawl at the Crawl Space blog tackles a much more dire scenario. What to do after the sun dies. Astro Engine founder Ian O'Neill hammers out what the delay of the Mars Science Laboratory means. And speaking of expensive NASA projects, DJ at Orbital Hub breaks down the upcoming James Webb Space Telescope. Lounge of the Lab Lemmings Chuck McGee shows where you can look for exoplanet hiding stars in the sky. Chuck recommends a systemic blog post on the death of all stars in the cosmos. Yikes. Jennifer Ouellette of Twisted Physics dissects the science out of the Day the Earth Stood Still remake. Edmund Chow shows off the Endeavour Space Shuttle's recent mission at the Space Video of the Day. David Portree of Altar 6 asks, where's my jetpack? Brian Wang of Next Big Future gives you the skinny on microfusion. Out of the Cradles, Kenneth Murphy recaps the best additions to the Lunar Library for 2008. The Astroprofs page gives you a lesson on the plural form of spacecraft. Emily Lochtewala cracks open some space beer at the Planetary Society blog. Paul Scott Anderson points out a new Scientific American article about Enceladus at the Meridiani Journal blog. Bruce Cordell of 21st Century Waves extracts what we can learn about our future in space from Antarctic exploration. Wayne Hall Jr. of Kentucky Space gives us an update on the organization's KaiSat-1 satellite. Tim Neal breaks down the 9.9 billion euros in new ESA funding at Tomorrow Is Here blog. David Gammy tells you how to avoid trash scopes at Mang's bat page. Stuart Atkinson blogs about Monty Python's Galaxy Song at the Astronomy blog. And finally, at Space Disco, I feel better about science education after seeing my niece's spacey artwork. So there you have it, the 82nd Carnival of Space. If you'd like links directly to each post I mentioned here, look down below in the Space Disco blog. If you're on YouTube, click the More Info button to your right, so it'll take you right there. Thanks for checking it out.